point, okay, I feel my swing sure on the Hana. My numbers are growing. They really, really are. 90% of my clientele is regulars, you know, people from the community. But I'm able, I am, like I was telling you, I cannot turn anybody away personally. Not, I mean, Los Animas and stuff, we're supposed to, but I try to help them as best as I can. Um, the good thing is, is like, the things like this, well, we're able to buy more food, like when our shelves are empty, you know, because we got new shelves, which was a blessing because it was like, we didn't have to pay for them. And it was like $3,000 we saved. But I have, it's, we're considered a choice pantry. We're not a food bank. So they're able to come in once a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and pick food. So it's not like I'm telling them this is what you have to take. They're able to pick food. And I may, I'm always able to put tuna, chicken, stuff like that. So they're getting meat. China, like, sometimes we'll put mashed potatoes and gravy things. So let's kind of figure out dinner-wise type yeah. things. So they're able to get, we get produce from Walmart three times a week, give or take. Bread and dairy from Safeway all week. So they're able to get, if I have it, milk, eggs, cheese, butter. And then the last two weeks of the month, I give meat to everybody. So chicken, whatever kind of meat I have. The bigger the family, the more they get. And so, you know, and the more families, the bigger the families, they're able to get more off the shelves as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to feed a lot of, a lot of people. So that's what we do. I mean, we do a lot of shopping. And there's a lot of people using it and going through Oh, yeah, I'm meeting more and more people. And uh, really taking, uh, definitely, utilizing yes. your Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Are you part of Feed America? Yes, we are. I figured. Yeah, and we do have two trucks a month from Karen Share that gets so I'm able to give out cereals, Cause especially when the more kids are home, cereal, sure. and milk, and all that, which is good, too, you know. Mm -hmm. So if um, uh, somebody was wanting to make a donation also to help support uh, associated charities, it, it could be made out, uh, or donations could be made directly to associated mm -hmm. charities. Yes, yeah. Uh, or, Everything or, is written down. Okay. So it's not like, so I mean, I have people come to the door, knock, and hand me money. And I'm like, what's your name? I write it down. And if they say anonymous, I still write it down. And then we have one of our board members is the one that sends out the thank you. So if you come here like, well, I paid $50. I never got thank you. Then something's wrong. And it's like, no, it's, everything is written down. Thank you notes go out. So it shows every single thing that comes into mm -hmm. that place. Mm -hmm. And yeah, definitely. I mean, we get donations of food all the time. That's why I'm there all day. Like from food, people knock on the door. Also, we follow everything from FDA guidelines. So even though things are expired, doesn't mean we can't use them. We check absolutely every single thing that comes in there. Everything date-wise. And, and what is it that you were saying that Associated Charities doesn't, you don't like, well, like with housing, I mean not housing, oh, but utilities? And, yes, and I'm, what, I'm you, able, I go through a program through ELC, which is Energy Outreach Colorado. I'm able to help people once a year with their utilities, city bill, uh, Southeast Power, and um, Black Hills is the way, what I'm able to do. And each client that comes in, like I said, my grant year goes from September to, oh, from, excuse me, from October to September. Mm -hmm. So once a year I can help people up to 2,000. So it's like 1,000 city, light bill, 1,000 Black Hills type of thing, you know what I mean? As long as it's only once a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to do that. I'm able, I tend to stretch, I get, it's a, four grants, it's 25 total, but it's four quarters, so I'm able to stretch it because I figured the, if somebody's bills like 800, I'm gonna pay the disconnect so that other, say four, I can help some of the other families, so I stretch the money as much as I can. You know, so I'm not telling everybody no. And I know we've probably been getting a big uh, request for like, uh, maybe housing or overnight, especially during cold weather and yeah, hotels we and stuff. That. And that's something that that I don't think we're we we can do. No. And I and, and that's something that, that. So I think uh, we yeah. just need to know that that's not something that yeah, associated. Because I guess back, back in the past before I took over, um, hotels got messed up, and so nobody wants to work with you whether you're paying or not because they're like, yeah, you know. And then we reported if they mess it up because they were responsible for paying and it, right? Just, and that comes out of. The funding that is sitting there that pays for everything you know our bills and everything yes. and then so that because the only thing we get grant is for the light all our black hills money comes from black hills themselves when they send grant money mm -hmm. so yeah that stuff we it hurts us too yeah. well it's good for us to know that too mm -hmm. since some of us are and see the thing is is the biggest thing is social services sends them our way and they'll say call you guys so then when a person calls you they're gonna be like associate charity said to call you it's not me just like they'll say catholic church said to call yes. you yes it's not me, It's that's what they tell them, so that's why we both, we both get called. Yes. And I'm like, I'm sorry, and it's hard to say no, but 
you just can't do it. Yes. You know, because the Liability. money that goes all to feeding you, I mean, you figure how expensive everything is, and then we buy abundance. So we're not buying just 10, we're buying cases and cases of things to right. feed. Because average, the, um, I want to say last month alone, I fed over 980 households. That's and that is in three, six, nine, 10, 12 days. Wow. I'm only, open, I'm only open three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 to 2.45, and that is in a month. So there's a big need to support yeah. associated charities because you're doing great things. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, that's where all our money and food yes. goes to. I mean, you'd be surprised. Like, I mean, and I make sure, like, you name it, we try to have it. But, like, I make sure, like, we'll have, I may not be able to give you a frozen chicken, but I can give you chicken in cans. I can give you tuna, it's still meat. Mm -hmm. I can give you a protein. I can give you things like that, you know, so okay. I do the best I can with what, you know, and order the best I can so that they're at least getting. Yeah. You know, because I don't want it to be like just stuff you're not going to eat. You want stuff that people can eat. Right. You know, like, so. And that's why I figured Choice Pantry, I don't want to take nobody's dignity away by telling them what they have to eat. So I want them to be able to choose what they can. That's awesome. Yeah, well, that's thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Yes, thank, thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. And now I'm going to go back. <laughs> thank you guys all so much.